All right, guys, welcome back for some more Metroid Prime. Back in Magmore Caverns with the ice beam in hand. It's time to continue on. Where we need to head now to is Fendrana Dress. Now with the ice beam, we can freeze these things. Ow. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to do this. It's really no problem at all. Besides, I'm gonna be all right. All right. Now with the ice beam, it makes things a lot easier around here. I don't have to go down there. I can just freeze that thing. It stays frozen forever or until I leave the room. We can just not worry about it. Oh, we have the jetpack pirates. Now you would think if they freeze, they fall. That's not how physics work around here. And I always thought Metroid was very physics oriented. Guess I was wrong. Alright. Well, no worries on it. Oh yeah, they're not in here anymore. The turrets. Um, We can hit Fendrana Drifts, but I don't want to hit it from here. I'm going to hit the new part of Magmore Caverns. Because it's faster. And with this, we can freeze these. Wait, is that it? Nope. I only hit one. Got no need for you. Alright. Ow. Alright. That could have came from Talon Overworld to here, but I wasn't there. So now we can actually go this way now. All below is a lava pit, and I'm not going to touch it. Oh, I almost released too early. Shoots forever, I think. Oh. Go away. All right, we have the... Uh, no. The stalactites. They shoot forever, you can freeze them. I, I did not mean to shoot that. Isn't there one over there too? Yeah.
Alright, gotta watch out the uh, poison puffers. It'll be a whole lot easier when we have an upgrade that'll just allow us to skip past this. Ah, shut up. These things are new now. Puddle spores. Purpose. Shoot them and they turn over to become platforms. Of course, that will require us to jump. using the ice beam more. Now we got these things out. Oh no, 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 no. Alright. Alright, and there are conduits. Interesting, we're in the uh, Magmore Caverns, and this is the coldest area. You look in the cal you look in the Magmore Caverns anywhere else here. You're seeing a bunch of yellow, which makes me wonder if you can visit some of these areas without the various suit. I'm pretty sure you can't because you're required for it to enter here. Otherwise. You just getting hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt. Alright, well now that we activated the power conduits, that freezes up the lava there. And we saw where to enter here. We do have more of these things here. Alright. You need these things out of the way. No! Let me go. Eat it. It's okay. Let me scan that. Freezes that up. Activate that. Oh, oh, mm. This way. For an energy tank you didn't see. But it is there. So there we go. <laughs> Try to go this way. We come across a Bendesium Pass. <laughs> but that's not the way to go. 
the way to go is up this way. And I'm just going to freeze. This. And there is a save point in here, but I'm not going to hit it. Now we're going to hit another side of Fendrana Drifts. Remember, Magmore Caverns is the only area connected to it. You cannot get to there from Talon Overworld, Chozo Ruins, or anywhere else. And this leads back to the cave where we bought, fought Thardis. We wouldn't have been able to go anywhere further, not without the help of this thing. And now we have probably one of my favorite songs of all time in the Metroid universe. Fendrana Drifts, The Depths. Also, there is a energy tank in there, but a blast of heat, which we don't have, would open it. Alright, I'm going to connect that tunnel on the map just to get it out of the way. That leads back to the labs, which we are not going back into for a very long time. In the water, we have a new enemy, the gel saps. Just shoot them in the mouth when it's open. Yeah, but I don't think I can get up there. No. We gotta go to the second door. If you're looking at the map. Yeah, I love the music here. Fendrana Drift's Depths is one of my favorite songs. In the Metroid universe. I'm not trying to scan those. Yeah, the flicker bats. Those are the things that we can only see w that we can't really see well. We do need to return here as well later on. For a few objects. I believe I scanned these things already. Yeah, ice beetles. They are different. Oh. I don't think these are any different now. And we just heard a Metroid. In fact, it's a Hunter Metroid. You have no purpose in being here. And a friendly enemy, the glider. Only way you can hurt that thing is by freezing it, but you really are purposely supposed to just grapple beam off of it, which we don't have. Really? Alright, we do need to destroy. And there is that in there, but we can't grab it yet. We had no purpose. Well, that, that Hunter Metroid has no purpose in being here. Why does something that's weak to cold need to be in a cold environment? It makes no sense. Alright, uh... 
Oh uh, yeah, we can hit that one. To grab that missile expansion you saw, we have to drop a stalactite on the ice to break it. But unfortunately we need the glider's help to get on over there because the thing is, if I can get a good look, it's way up there and we can't get the point of hitting it from this side. That is a save point. I am not going to hit that. But I do think this is where we need to go. Into here. Oh boy. Ugh. All right, we could not go up if we wanted to. Because we would need... Yeah, that thing. The grapple beam. But we are in an area of importance. He takes a bite out of you, it disables your hood for a bit. Ah. You punk. Eat it. Oh. Oh. Electricity in the water and we're not affected. Those fall on gel saps too. All right, and those flicker bats are a annoyance. Best to hit them. I'm trying to hit the flicker bats because they do knock you off. Trying to hit them. Got one. Remember, you can't see them. Uh, they can knock you off, but luckily I made it. And. Did I not hit the damn stalactite? I don't know if I did. Got one. That was the other one. Hey. Thing keeps on hitting me. Oh. And you saw Samus's eyes there for a bit. Isn't there another one? Yeah, there it is. Now 
believe we're heading into the room. Yes. Alright, this is the room. Personally, I like to have the thermal visor on in here just so I can see. Oh yeah, new enemy. Water versions, Aqua Reapers. I don't want to mess with the jail saps. What? Really? No, leave me alone. Ah, damn it. Is it really this hard to jump? I am stuck. Come on. Oh, really? And there's our upgrade. Please. There it is. The gravity suit. No longer hindered by water. I really don't know how this works. Why is it called gravity suit? Does anybody know how the gravity suit works? <laughs> like, what is it that allows you to move normally in water without being hindered? Also, we can see clearer now in the water. Oh, nice. Yeah. So now we can move normally in water. Which means... We can get out of here. All right. Uh, yes, there's this here. Uh, I wasn't aiming at that. We have uh, something here that we can't do yet. So we'll have to wait until we have another upgrade. So you get that missile expansion that's up there. Oh yes. Sentry drone. And now these things are in here. Trying kamikaze up here. You weak. Alright, now we can go through here. Simple to take out. And simple to move in water. Alright. Now we have a big travel ahead of us. Now well, they know I'm in the water. Back in the main cylinder area. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's not a tower, but it's where we have to make our climb up.
We have no reason to come back to Fendrona Drifts until we have our last beam upgrade. That leads back to the uh, labs, which I really don't want to go to, but we will have to for one reason. Also, we have a blue hue now because of our uh, gravity suit. Although now with the gravity suit, we can grab some upgrades, which I think we will go ahead and do next next time guys but what we're going to do is traverse back to Magmore Caverns and we'll hit the save point that's right near the uh, elevator and we'll stop it there and well, next time we'll be upgrade. Will be a bunch of uh, upgrades and some other stuff. We'll have a grand old time. All right. So let me head inside the save room in here. Join me next time, guys, when we go through more of our adventure. Metroid Prime, to be continued.